Welcome. This is the end of course Algebra 1 practice test, the third one, and this is question number 26. The question says, the first four terms of a sequence are shown below. Which expression represents the nth term of sequence? Now when it says nth term of sequence, if you don't know, that's the generic form. So I could take that form, uh, that term, and I could plug in any number in the sequence that I want, and I could find its value. What I'm going to do just as a visual cue is make a nice little table here. So my n value would be the number of the term in sequence. So here's my first one. And then my uh, value over here may be my a sub n, which is usually what we say when we're talking about the value of the term or its numeric value. So 1. The second term has a value of 3. The third term has a value of 9. And the fourth term has a value of 27. So I can look at a couple things here. One of the things I'm going to look for is to see what type of relationships I have. I also want to look at um, whether I see a set of numbers that has some connection in my brain. Like right now, I know that 3 uh, that 3 and 9 and 27 are related because that would be uh, 3 to the first power, 3 to the second power, uh, 3 to the third power. So there's some relationship there. Like I know that this is 3 to the third power. This is 3 to the second. This is 3 to the first just because I, I happen to know those things about those numbers because I've seen a list of squares and a list of cubes before in my life. I also know that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, that whole thing. So it's probably B, C, or D as opposed to A. A shows a linear relationship. I can see that it's not linear by looking at the differences here. 3 and 1 would be 2, uh, 9 and 3 would be 6, and 9 and 27, I'm going to have to do a little bit of erase magic here. We're going to deal with um, 18. So obviously it's not linear. If it was linear, those numbers would all be the same and I'd be happy you know that I have a nice linear relationship I'd probably say yeah it's a I I'd be good with that uh, from here what I'm gonna do is go out another level just to sort of make a visual uh, component to it so I'm gonna do 18 minus 6 and end up with 12 and 6 minus 2 I end up with 4 in the last one I may say that 12 minus 4 is 8. So nothing really popped out that it's going to change by the same amount every time. I need to go somewhere else with it. Usually if you'd end up with the same set of numbers here after the you do out the first set it's probably linear. If you get it again and you get the same ones in the second set it's probably x squared something and then down here maybe it's x to the third or n to the third power. That's obviously not the case here. So what I'm looking at is well like I said before I know that this is 3 to the first power, 3 to the second power, 3 to the third power. So I've got to make some adjustment, uh, some relationship between these numbers, the exponent and the, the value of the term. Well, this is 1 and this is 2, so that's 2 minus 1. So maybe n minus 1. So 3 minus 1 would be 2, and it's 3 to the second power. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, so that would be 4 minus 1 gives me the 3, and they all have that base of 3. So I can say that the answer is C, and it is the answer. What happens if like that never comes to your mind? You're nervous about the test, you're a little scared that it's going to end up badly for you. You can actually just plug in the numbers. Plug in the number for the term and see if you get its value. 3n, 3 times 1. That one works perfect. 3 times 2 supposed to give me 3, it gives me 6. So, nope, it's not that one. I'm going to try the second one now. 3 to the n. So when I plug in 1, I should get a value of 1. So 3 to the first power is 3. So no, that one's out. For the next one, I do 3 to the n minus 1. So 3 to the 1 minus 1, which makes it 3 to the 0 power. Anything raised to 0 power is 1. So I plugged in a 1 here. I got a 1. That's a good thing. I'm going to try 2 now. Plug in a 2 right here. 2 minus 1 is 3 to the first power. 3 to the first power is 3. Plugged in a 2. Got a 3, just like I'm supposed to. And it tends to work all the way down. So I know that that's the correct answer. So there you go. You can do it either way. You want to do the plug-in thing, go for it. It is multiple choice this year. And uh, if not, you can always do it thinking about the list of numbers. It helps if you have a list of the cubes and squares in your head to see that's kind of what the relationships are. But whatever you choose, you choose.